So welcome to Techno Dad Life. My name is Jeff. And I'm Techno Daughter. And so today we're going to be looking at the Blackview Mini PC, which is the perfect PC for home, office, maybe a little bit of light gaming. <laughs> if you find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you like the look of the Mini PC, there will be a link in the description below. So if we look at the outside of the box of the mini PC, it's pretty plain box. It does have this nice little embossed pattern, which you can barely see. It looks like a brick wall there. And on the back, we have the information about the PC. And Ariel, do you want to read this? Intel Jasper Lake N5095 2.0 GHZ. So it's 2 gigahertz turbo to 2.9. 16 gigabytes RAM plus 512 gigabytes ROM. Yep, so 512 gigabytes of ROM. And then how big is it? 128 by 128 by 52 millimeters. Yep, so pretty small. And so if we take a look at the unit, so it's smaller than my hand, you can see crosswise. Bigger than mine though. <laughs> And in the box, what we have is a power supply, some directions, and some screws in case you want to mount it on the wall. So let's take a closer look at the case. So if we look at the top of the case, we have a warning label, the Blackview uh, name, and Intel sticker. On the sides, two sides, we don't have anything. The space in between is ventilation, but it also has an LED light, which changes. Blue, it's on. Uh, red, it is in sleep mode. So on the front, we have a power on button, uh, two USB 3 and one two USB 2. And I think only the two USB 3 ones are powered. On the back, we have the power ports, another USB 2, two HDMI ports, Ethernet port, headphone jack, and a lock. Now on the bottom we have a mini PC sticker that has um, a garbage can with an X, so basically means don't throw it away. <laughs> yep. Um, and There's two screws. We take this off. We can add a two and a half inch drive. Here are the slots to mount it on the wall or on the back of our monitor. And this actually has something really interesting. So push that over. And you want to push that one over up there? Hard. Yeah. Once we do that, then actually this bottom part comes off. And so then you have a much slimmer PC if you don't need that extra hard drive. Now, the interesting thing on this, this is a so this is a USB-C port, and so that's going to limit the speed that you get off of the hard drive. But if you're just using this as a normal you know, desktop PC or even a Plex server, it's not going to really matter. Or if you do it for gaming. It might matter. Yes. <laughs> now, if we look at the power supply, it's pretty small, about the same size as a Raspberry Pi power supply. Uh, but it's slightly more powerful. And it has 12 volts and tw 2.5 amps. So why don't we plug it in and see how it works. Okay, we've got it all set up. So let's take a look and we've installed some games and we'll see how gaming works on it. So the first game we have up is Robolux. Roblox. Roblox, which is one of Ariel's favorite games. And how would you say this game is doing, Ariel? I think it's doing pretty good. It doesn't glitch at all. Okay, so no glitching. Which is definitely something you want, because you don't want games to glitch. Because in Roblox, you can die if it glitches. <laughs> okay, so no glitching in Roblox. So we also tried Solitaire, which worked fine, which is my wife's favorite game. And then we tried Elite Dangerous uh, and that glitch. So definitely not a, a, a tier A or tier B gaming machine. Uh, it's more of a light office work 
and fiddly games that don't take up much uh, thing. So what we're going to be doing with this in our house is we're going to be sticking it behind the TV so then my wife can, has a computer that she can use and then also my daughter can play games on it like Roblox and uh, Minecraft of course. That's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.